Hello everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of Amps in the Axe Effects 3. I am going to be your host, Lucas. Hey, make sure you smash that subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen, because we are going to be going through all of the Amps in the Axe Effects 3. Alright, today we're going to be checking out the Brit Brown amp. Now, this is not necessarily based on a real amp. This is an amp that Cliff from Fractal himself made, and it's basically made to be his an ult an ult ultimate brown sound amp. So, let's read about it a little bit. So, there's two in the aspects. There is the Brit Brown and there is the Faz Brown. So let's read up a little bit about them. So what what exactly is the Brown sound? Well, the Brown sound is a very low frequency that when produced and heard by human beings, it forces losers, losers, listeners to shit their pants relentlessly. Yes, and I agree with that very much. This is all coming from Yixamp. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description down below. So the Brown sound is just kind of like Eddie's an ultimate tone, and he had that forever and supposedly Eddie himself said this is the difference between being just loud and having what I call warm brown sound which is a Tony sound T a Tony sound okay cool Eddie that's cool so um, like I said before the brown sound is just Cliff's kind of take on it and Brit Brown is a personal take on what the ultimate brown plexi should be it's based on the 100 SLP with the Ardendo mods and a few Aridondo or Oridondo, Oridondo, yes, learn how to speak Lucas. Oridondo mods and a few little voicing tweaks. So he built it by ear. And the main difference is that Faz Brown was created in the standard ultra period, uh, named Brown at that time. And it wasn't included with the Axe Fix 2. People requested it, so it was put back on. It sounds similar to the Brit Brown, bit more bright and lower in volume. Um, the main difference between the two is that, if you come to the ideal right here, this art has the Oridondo. Did I say it? Yes, Oridondo. It has that mod in it, so the saturation switch is on and the Faz Brown doesn't. So um, let's turn it off. And this is without the mod. Oh, jeez. That definitely um, affects... That affects the volume. I like it with it on, so it's gonna stay on. Sorry for blowing yours out there. Guys, I did not touch anything in here. Um, Say basically, basically an authentic tap. Pushed it a little bit, didn't push it too hard. Uh, put, you know, got a little bit of drive going on there. Um, I gave it a scoop because it does have that ferocious midsection um, that all Marshalls have, really. But this amp's really cool because it's just, it's very ferocious. It sort of kind of reminds me of the uh, Brit Super, which Cliff also put that bit, built that one by ear. That one was to be based on the amp number 36, the Super Lead that Slash used for Appetite for Destruction. Um, I'm going to put that up top so you can check it out if you want to check that out. Let's do EQ on, EQ off. <laughs> As you can hear, I do have a scoop in it, but I hate nasty mid information. And I probably could screw around with a little more. I do have a healthy amount um, in here to IR wise. I'm actually using the GGD Zilla. This is actually Misha's preset. It's called the Big Brit Stack. And I just threw that on here because, you know, you got um, a martial sound. It's kind of what that IR was going for. But let's hear it with the ML. Mars hair metal pack. This is based off of the um, super famous Marshall Cab. Uh, it has the um, Celestians, the UK Celestians. So does this. This has a lot of UK Celestians in it. Um, I don't exactly remember. This is like the. I don't want to quote the cab because I'm going to screw it up. Uh, I'll probably. I'll put it on the screen uh, later to show you what it's based off of. Um, this is the one that Slash owns, um, The Cure used this, Inve used this. This is like the super famous Marshall Cab.
guys, proximity and smoothing are so great. They can make anything sound like amazing. Cause watch, this is what it sounds like with nothing on it. this IR on this amp I think it works with it great as you heard when we went to hear this the 57 just had that snarl come through this amp is very bright because the saturation is on it so if you use a little bit darker IRs it kind of helps to balance things that's gonna wrap things up for the Burt Brown I really like this amp I think this is one of my favorite cliff made amps in the XFX3 I sometimes don't jive with the cliff made amps in here but I really did Jive with this one. It's great. It's cool. Uh, I know purists may may or not like this this amp right here, but if if you're kind of if you straight up going for like a Van Halen sound, this one's perfect. If you want that super hot rodded Marshall sound, this one does it very well. All right, guys. If you thought this video was really cool, smash like for me. Appreciate it. And let me know your tips and tricks with this amp in the comments down below. Let me know if you use this amp. All right, guys. That is gonna have to be it for me. I'm out. Peace.